Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve the performance of your GPU by simply doing one simple setting. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and this guide will help you to improve your gaming performance by a ton and most probably you have never heard of these settings so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said and let's get started with the intro. To optimize our GPU, we're going to be looking at the GPU shader cache and this is really important. To understand GPU shader cache, you need to imagine that you are an artist painting a portrait. Every time you need to create a specific color, you have to mix different paints and this takes time, right? Now imagine you're smart and you pre-mix all the colors you will need for the entire portrait and put them in little containers. When you need the specific color, you just simply grab a pre-mixed one instantly. That's essentially what Shader Cache does for your graphic card. A Shader Cache is a small program that tells the GPU how to render the things like textures, lighting and colors. A video game has thousands of these little instructions. Instead of recalculating these complex instructions every single time a new object or scene appears on your screen, your GPU saves the pre-compiled ready-to-use version of these shaders in a temporary storage area on your computer's hard disk drive or SSD. That storage area is called the shader cache. Now, why is it so important for gaming? Shader cache is a key part of what makes your games run smoothly. That includes faster loading times, reduced stuttering, and consistent performance. Without a shader cache, your GPU will have to recompile the shaders in real time as you play, which would lead to noticeable freezes and stutters every time a new visual element like an explosion or a detailed character model comes into the view. This cache eliminates this issue by having the compiled shaders ready to go. And when does this shader becomes a big problem? It is when a healthy shader cache becomes bloated or corrupted. Over time, especially if you play many different games, the shader cache can grow quite large. If it gets too big or a file within it becomes corrupted, you might see some weird problems. This includes increased stuttering, visual glitches and longer load times. If you suspect your GPU shader cache is causing problems, the simple solution is to clear it. And here is how you can do it. The very first step is opening up disk cleaner. For that, simply search for disk cleanup on your PC and open it up. Select your local disk C over here and then click on OK. You wanna have to select a DirectX shader cache file over here along with the delivery optimization files. This might not seem very large for you guys, but select almost everything except the recycle bin. And then you wanna have to click on OK. Click on delete files and then it will take some time and it will clean all of the shader cache that might be built and it will help you to fix some of these issues. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to a very simple tool called hone.gg which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below which makes everything much more simpler and more efficient. Basically, once you open up hone, what you have to do is come down to optimizations and then click on FPS and latency. Over here, you have to enable a few quick fixes. First is optimize windows power plan, activate that. Then general windows optimization, optimize timer resolution, disable windows power throttle disable windows game bar and the most important one is enable home gaming mode simply turn this thing on along with the gaming optimizations and IO operations also disable power saving features optimize memory management and optimize device affinities all of these settings enabled will help you to boost your gaming performance drastically once again, Hone has inbuilt boost of features which includes optimizing and defragging your drives and a ton of other necessary tools over here which helps you to clean your Steam, scan and fix system errors and drive errors along with graphic card drivers which will help you to optimize your GPU's performance furthermore. Once again, you guys can go download Hone for yourself. It is pro's choice and I have left a direct download link for all of you guys to go and explore it out for yourself. Next step is manual cleaning. And if you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card, here is how you can do it. Simply right click on any empty area of your desktop and then click on show more options. Select NVIDIA control panel to open it up. Once you're in the control panel, you have to come over to the first option that says adjust image settings with preview and over here click on use advanced 3D image settings. Then click on take me there and over here you have to come all the way down until you find the shader cache size. By default, it would be driver default. You wanna have to set this thing to 10 GB as it is a sweet spot and it will help you to clean the pre-built shaders 
every time it hits the 10 GB mark. This will ensure that your shader cache does not grow large and it will help you to overcome this issue. Once you're done with that, simply click on the apply button. Now certainly you have set the limit for the new shader cache to be compiled, but you have to clean your older shader cache manually. And for that, you have to press your windows in R key together and then type in app data. Once you're over here, head over to local and then you have to find Nvidia in this list. Simply find Nvidia and then you will find DX cache. Open it up and here is all the shader cache that you need to eliminate off your PC. Press Ctrl A together and press Shift and Delete. You'll delete all of these files, press enter. Some of them could not be deleted because they might be utilized by other applications. So you're gonna just skip all of them. And once all of that is done, simply close it. And if you guys have an AMD graphic card, simply right click on any empty area of your desktop and then select AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Once you open up this software, what you guys are looking for is the gaming section head over to graphics and then you want to have to scroll all the way down until you find a reset shader cache simply click on perform a reset and then click on the ok button this will clear all of the shader cache that you have on your pc and it is just one click for everything now next step is reg edit and for that press windows and r key together on your system and then type in reg edit over here once you're over here what you have to do is head over to local machine h key local machine and then you wanna have to go over to system and then you have to find current control set right over here you'll find control and then you have to find graphic drivers once you find graphic drivers you have to right click and then click on new and then you want to have to click on d word value you want to have to name it disable async shader compile this is what you have to name it and set it to hexadecimal and the value should be set to zero click on ok then you have to do the new button again and click on the d word value over here this time you want to have to name it shader cache mode and then you want to have to set this value data to two on hexadecimal click on ok then new again and then over here d word value and this time you want to have to name it tdr delay make sure that all of these names are copied as it is because they are case sensitive set the hexadecimal value to 10 and once that is done click on the ok button now these three things will help you to disable asynchronous shader compile which will allow you to optimize how your shader compiles on your PC. Next is shader cache mode and TDR delay, which is utilized to reduce unwanted stutter, which will help you to fix unwanted freezes and micro stutters while you are rendering your shaders and playing your game together. Once that is done, simply click on close. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And once you over here, select your local disk C, click on the create button and name it GPU just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply close it and close system properties. Next step, you have to download the GPU shader cache optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in very simple and very, very important three folders over here. The first one is the most important one, which is GPU optimization registry in which I have left asynchronous shader optimization. This is the most important registry over here. You need to double click and apply this and it will help your PC. Along with that, you have to disable DVR one and two, disable GPU energy driver and GPU power throttling. This will help you to utilize the system's maximum performance and disabling power saving features on your GPU to optimize its performance. The next one is GPU priority, which optimizes your PC to utilize your dedicated graphic card over your CPU based graphics and increase power efficiency helps you to optimize the power flow all around your PC. You have to double click and apply every single one of these registry over here. And once that is done, come back to the second folder which is memory optimization in which i have left a prefetch cleaner file this is also very important on your pc right click and then run it as administrator this will automatically start cleaning all of the prefetch files and i would recommend you guys to do it every now and then because this will help you to optimize your pc drastically it will delete all of the unwanted prefetch files and you're good to go third folder is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator right over here you have to find your graphic card in this list click on the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high and then click on apply this will set your graphic card interrupt priority to the higher state which will allow your gpu to handle interrupts more efficiently once that is done close it and close the optimization pack next step is enable shader pre-caching 
and you guys can do it on steam simply open up your steam and then click on the steam button then click on settings and then you want to have to click on downloads over here you'll find something called shader pre-caching you want to have to enable shader pre-caching over here make sure that this is turned on after that you want to have to click on clear cache and this will clear all of the cache of your steam you have to re-log in again and once that is done it is showing zero mb because we have already cleaned all of the cache on our pc next step is running a command prompt that is DISM. Simply open up CMD and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, the first command that you need to use over here is SFC space scan now. This will scan everything related to your disk and your GPU drivers. SFC space scan now helps you to identify issues with your system integrity and drivers. It will also help you to go through your disk. And once that is done running, you're going to have to use this command that is dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health. Once that is done, you have to restart your PC once and then you can drop into the game with the improved FPS and performance. So this is how you can optimize your GPU shader cache and improve your PC's performance along with your FPS, fix lags, stutters, freezing and micro stuttering if you are experiencing such issues. This will also help you to fix your PC's loading time and it will allow your games to perform better. I hope this guide might have helped you out. I have tried to make everything clearer for you guys. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. And for more value added guide like these, you can also join my channel membership and I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.